So now that we actually have the database running, we can rerun the MySQL secure script. Defaults to no password. Of course, we want to set it. So I will set my root password for MySQL. A couple other steps it takes here to secure it a little bit. And then when we're done, we have a more secure instance of MySQL running. After installing and securing the database, I want to install a package called uh, PHP MyAdmin. It's a way to administer your database through a web page. Uh, you might have guessed I'm not a very uh, memory oriented guy when it comes to command line kinds of things. So I like to manage my database tables and users through a web page and PHP and MySQL is a, is a good way to do that. This, by the way, is one of those packages that you need EPEL for. So the default installation of PHP uh, MyAdmin allows you to only maintain your database from the server itself. It won't allow any uh, remote connections. So I want to go into the Etsy, the config file for my S, the Apache interface to MySQL, uh, which is in Etsy HTTPD conf uh, .d. There's a file in there, and there's some lines in here that say uh, require you to be the local host. So I just want to comment those lines out to allow connections in from outside the server. This is a security risk. Uh, that you need to be aware of, but I, I think in this instance it's a, a pretty moderate risk. You wouldn't necessarily want to do this on a internet facing machine and, and leave it that way. You could also, instead of requiring being local, you can require it to be a particular IP address. Um, so these are just some steps to, to secure up who can use PHP MyAdmin. And we'll restart Apache. Now, seeing the uh, error here that it couldn't stop Apache reminds me that it, it wasn't running in the first place. There's a couple quick commands you can run to set uh, a service to start automatically on boot. The check config, uh, and you can set. Uh, so I'm going to set here both MySQL and Apache to automatically start on boot. It's just one of those things I always forget when I'm setting up my machine until I get burned by it uh, after a power outage or something. So now we should have both, uh, both demons running. Let's make sure we can get to our website. The IP address of the virtual, virtual machine, 192, 168, 180. 132 and error. Uh, oh crap, I keep forgetting. CentOS uh, has some kind of firewall filtering turned on. Um, I never, I don't really understand what it is, but there's a thing called IP tables. I want to stop it and make sure it doesn't set up on, uh, make sure it doesn't run on reboot. Go there. Let's try it again. And here's our base Apache site. Means Apache's running. Uh, we also installed PHP MyAdmin uh, to manage our database, so we log in as root. And we see this is this is PHP MyAdmin. It's a, a nice graphical way to manage a database. Uh, right now we really don't have any you know unique databases in here. These are just the default tables. So thinking through the prerequisites here, we have the database running, we have Apache running, PHP. Uh, one of the things we need to still do is set up a way to send outgoing mail. Uh, trying to run your own server to send outbound mail, there are a lot of uh, ISPs that block outbound mail messages. So there's a nice tutorial here uh, at this URL about how to set up using your personal Gmail account as the outbound uh, gateway for messaging. So uh, this is something that, it, you know, this app in particular, 
uh, uses a lot of email messages. We're emailing uh, tickets out to clients, and it, you really need to have the app be able to send email. So these steps right here are uh, directly following this tutorial. Uh, I'm not going to go through it in too much detail, but uh, you you really need to make sure you have some way of sending outbound email. Uh, the only comment over uh, over the standard tutorial is that uh, for some reason when I followed this tutorial on CentOS, this uh, certificate, this .pem file wasn't there. So I went and just manually got it off the web uh, using wget. Uh, I went, you know, just did a little bit of Googling on it to try to find what was going on. So I did wget on the this URL to get the, the PEM file, and then I'll just rerun this cat t command and uh, get it into its right spot. And there was an error there. I, I cut it out here, but there's a uh, change to the capitalization for the file I downloaded versus the one that was in a tutorial. And at this point, uh, our app should be able to, to send email out, and it's using the uh, Gmail gateway. So I'll restart PostFix and send a quick test email to make sure that it that it went. She's using the command line message here to send an email, change it to any email you want here just to see if you can get it. So I'll send a dummy message to my personal email account. Check the error log real quick to see if there's anything unusual in there. Nothing unusual in the log. I just see the test message showed up on my, my smartphone. So we are good to go here with sending email messages. So to review, uh, at this point we have a nice base CentOS install. Um, it's often called a LAMP, uh, a LAMP instance for a Linux, Apache, MySQL, and PHP. Uh, it's a nice foundation on which we're going to build a couple different servers uh, later on. Uh, in my case, I'm going to do a Fusion Ticket install as well as a Kaltura, a Kaltura video processing install. Uh, but we've created a virtual uh, VMware virtual image running this CentOS Linux install. We can remotely log into that using SSH. Uh, we set up MySQL database and use the PHP MyAdmin, uh, which is a nice web interface to graphically manage the database. Uh, we set up Apache for the web servers with virtual hosts so that you can run any number of virtual hosts on that Apache. And because in my instance, uh, we're going to be doing some secure web stuff, we needed to create an SSL certificate and set up Apache to run in secure mode. And also for our particular instance, we had to set up uh, a way to do outbound email, uh, which, you know, a lot of ISPs block that outbound mail. So further tutorials, we'll get more into the app specific stuff, but this is kind of the foundation. All right, thanks. Uh, I hope you appreciate it. If you have any comments, uh, get a hold of me, and I uh, appreciate hearing them. Thanks. Bye.